Station V103, the ATL's number one for hip hop and RB. Javante Tank Davis is here in the ATL. You live here, but you're going to be fighting here on Saturday. Why does the ATL need to show up and show out? Uh, you know, it's going to be a great you know, uh, show, just not only me and Gabor, but the whole undercard and things like that. Um, I feel as though, you know, Atlanta got its champion. And his champion is Javante uh, Tank Davis. So. About 20 years. What can people who've never seen you fight come out and expect? Um, I suppose it is. Ass checking in with the one and only Coach Cal. Coach Cal, coach of GTD himself. Yes, yes. And by the way, before we get started, let me tell y'all this. Fight this Saturday. Tickets are still available on all platforms, so y'all need to get that. Need to get that. Coach, how you doing today? Man, I'm excited, man, being here in Atlanta. Okay, okay. I hear you, I hear that accent. Let me, you, you must be from Maryland. I am from Maryland. Okay, I born hear that and raised. Born and raised. In so Baltimore City, all day. Ravens long. fan? Ravens fan. Lamar too. Jackson? I uh, love him. Okay. We got, let me tell you why I love him so much. Uh -huh. Everybody left him for dead. But he definitely doing. Lamar, you see this man? I'm your biggest fan, yo. Because guess what? You came from the dirt. The look dirt. At you. The ground. The dirt. They say That's he was only a running back, huh? Crazy. Put that work in, man. I listened to that interview. Go chase your dream. You heard that. Go chase your dream. So look, check this out. Big fight this weekend. Um, I'm pretty sure you've been in the lab with GTD getting ready mm -hmm. for months. How's he feeling Since physically, eight. mentally? Where's his head at? Well, right now? I'm seeing the maturity of him. You know, um, can't think great with him. I mean, I'm a fan. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Fan. Um, I want you know how when Michael Jordan was hit hit the floor in the fourth quarter. Uh huh. Fell I'm out. waiting. I'm waiting to see what he brings to the table. <laughs> okay. So that's that's what I'm waiting on. I, I want to see what type of performance that he put on for Atlanta. Okay. And that's what it's really all about. Him performing for Atlanta, giving Atlanta something like, yo man, that little joke put on the show, man. And that's what I want to see. As far as you being here in Atlanta, what does it mean to just like give back to your city? Because it's it, everybody can be you know in the in the flash lights, the nice cars, the nice rides, but just giving back and showing love to the city that, you know, show you love as well. What does that mean? It means a lot, you know, it just, it go hands in hand, hand in hand, you know, so um, just, just them showing me love and, you know, this is my first time fighting in Atlanta right now. I feel the love already. The city is on fire right now. Um, I appreciate the love and, you know, I will always show my love to the city. And, uh, I'm thankful, I'm grateful for the uh, moment and uh, I'm soaking it all in. You know, I'm enjoying it as uh, the minute, the second, the days go by. I'm definitely um, enjoying the experience, you know, things like that. So I'm all, I'm all love. In the black Mexican, we have um, Kareem Martin, better known as Ramos. You said, yeah. hold on, what did you call him again? The black Mexican. <laughs> That's right. Listen to, like listen, that. listen like to that. when I call that black Mexican out. When you see him come out, well, you gonna say, they say, yo, he hot too. Then we got um, Malik Warren, better known as the king, young prospect, doing his thing. Then we got my main man, my partner, his daughter, Miller, I mean, um, Mayor Killer B. We wait to see her first debut as a pro. She's been doing it since she was eight years old. So, you know, it's gonna be a star-studded card. So come out. You want to get a chance to get some popcorn this time. Because I know. Popcorn ready. Yeah, I know Gamble. I want to see how much punishment that he's willing to take. That's, that's what it's all about. And I know he got the credentials to hang in there with Tank. So he's going to put on the show. He's going to be careful. You know, I know his coaching team. They've been putting their work. So we're looking forward. Looking forward. I look at it, that's my name guy. So we beat this name guy. There's more name guys to come. I like that. Um, at the end of the day, it's all about that team. Like it seems like you built, y'all built this team from the inside out yeah. with the guys that you can trust, that you look at as family, and where you can rely on each other. You yep. pick one brother up, yep. and another brother. You, if he yep. fall down, you pick him up. Yep. And so, that, that's what it's all about. You listen to Tank. Tank here tell you he made for this. The kid is made for this, man. You see how he started coming out here, put that energy. Man, made me smile. Yes, good energy tonight.
at the gate. So I can't wait until the 28th get here and see a fantastic show from my little man, Tank Davis. Uh oh, that's my record too. <laughs> Malik's the real, the real deal. Oh yeah. No, we don't call him Big Freezer for nothing. Big Freezer. How you come up with that name? Oh, you gotta ask him. Ask I him mean, he's okay. he been rocking the name. We rocking with him. Um, he's tremendous talent. We just signed him. You know, uh, his first fight with us was a couple months ago, and I told him that you know once we we sign him, we we not gonna play with it. We gonna roll. Him. He's fighting a very very solid opponent. Most people envision that as a 50-50 fight, mm -hmm. but I'm expecting my guy to dominate the fight and, like and, and come out like on that. top. But it won't be easy. Yeah. It won't be he 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 don't have he don't have some some average Joe in front of him. He got he got a guy that's coming that's gonna bring it and we're just excited. Just really, really excited where Malik is going in his career. Okay, good. And one last question. Um, we know that you guys are real big in the community. And with Christmas being this Wednesday, how do you explain back to the youth that, you know, giving back is the way to, you know, just help out in the city? Well, that, that's that's what life is all about. It's, it's always about giving back. Mm -hmm. It's not about receiving. It's, it's like helping others. You, you know, um, that's the only way to do like, yeah. the, the only way to be in life. You, you know, you, you, you reach out and you, you lend a helping hand to a brother or a sister, you know, out there who needs it. You, you know, God has blessed all of us to be in this wonderful, wonderful position. Yes. And that's well, every day I wake up, I always think about how I can help five people. Just five people make a difference in their life. Like five it. people I every like day. It. Every day I wake up. Reach one, teach one. Yeah, every day I wake up, whether I walk into a restaurant and it could be a waitress in there, it could be an older lady, and I walk up to her, she's not even serving me or helping me, and I reach out and I just want to say hello and slide something to her hand, you know. You, you know, and Catch again, off guard, but yeah, you it's, know. it's like it's that's God has blessed us to be in this wonderful position, and that's what it's about giving back. Trigger. trigger man. Trigger man. Yeah, that's what they call me. Why they call you trigger man? You know, because I got a trigger in his right hand. Ready to let it loose. Pressure. Pressure. Look, I just found out that the Michael is from ATL. See, that's one thing we don't know. A lot of people that's from Atlanta, that stay in Atlanta, is not from here. But he's from here. What part of the A from, from, man? I'm actually from Marietta side. Marietta. Okay, yeah. we can count that. We can, we can count, count that. that. We can count you that. You know, that's really outside. It's scarce out here. It's hard to get it. It's hard to get yeah. it, man. So look, when you about to get in that bout, you know, Atlanta is the home of the culture. Mm -hmm. It gets a lot of good music. So what's these? What's the top three songs that gets you in that mode for when you about to throw hands? Like three. I just Ooh. need three. Just if three. You, if you don't do, yeah, go on. I go got ahead. you. Uh, I like that Young Thug, Hot. Okay. Um, Lil Baby, whoa. Ooh. Yeah, number three. I like Rollo. Ah, shit, pop shit. Ooh. Yeah, okay. Those you, my top you, three. you got free Rollo. Free Rollo. He coming home soon. Definitely. So you got that playlist for sure, for sure. Yeah. For sure, for sure. Okay. So um, I heard that you just started getting into the professional realm. Mm -hmm. So what, what's your record right now? 1 0 1 K. 1 0. And you looking to go 2 0. Okay. And you buying this weekend? Yep, this weekend. Are you ready? Yeah, that's, that's lit right there, bro. Oh, yeah, man. I've been getting ready for a couple months now. Okay. since my last bout in July back in Baltimore. So okay. I'm ready to go out there and do my thing. You're doing it in front of the home team. So look, man, you got the city behind you. We wish you the best of luck, bro. Like, you get all love this way. And I know you're going to go out there and kill it. Definitely, cool. man. City on my back right now. For Time sure. to take it to the top. For sure. That's the Michael checking in, aka Trigger. Trigger Man. Trigger Man. Uh, actually, I got that name from a rapper. Uh, his name was Paul Wall. Paul Wall. Yeah, and I used to when I was young. I used to rap all his songs, uh -huh. and then I used to come in the uh, in the gym with the uh, aluminum foil in my mouth and everything. Ooh, okay. So they just started calling me Ice Man for real. So when that song Grills dropped, that one just like stuck yeah. with you. And you was yeah. like, okay, I'm gonna throw yeah, it. Yeah, 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 definitely. Okay, okay. With the big fight coming here this weekend, you know Atlanta been missing that boxing scene. We ain't had no fights, no championship fight here since Holyfield almost. Yeah. So being back here in the A, showing the love to the city, how's it feel to just you know being here, being back in the black capital, you know the 
Wakanda of America, you know what I'm saying? So how did you feel? It, it feels great. You know, I always wanted to fight here in Atlanta, even ever since I was amateur. So now for me to be fighting here in, here in Atlanta on my brother undercard is, is tremendous. Love